Just like with humans, dogs have different personalities or we would call it temperaments. And where a particular method of training or even correction would work with one dog, for another dog it would be uh, totally inappropriate and wouldn't accomplish what we wanted. So we tailor our lessons to fit the dog. We like to think of ourselves as translators. Uh, we bridge the gap and explain to the human what the dog is understanding and mold their conversation so that they are communicating in the dog to the dog in an effective manner and thereby having the dog understand and want to obey what they, they wish them to do. Zoe, did you leave your toys on the floor? Go fetch your toy. Put it in your basket. Good girl. Buffy, he said, was the, had become the leader of the pack. And so he was running us. So we started a slow process of, of bringing that back into control. And Buffy was very smart, so it wasn't hard to get him trained. And he had to train us to continually um, um, manage the dog rather than be managed by the dog and the result was great. We have seen some great transformations. People who are literally crying because they're about to break up their family. The dog's about to go back to um, the shelter and then uh, by the time we're leaving they're crying because they're, they're saying oh my god we're gonna be able to keep our dog now. In teaching obedience classes I've had dogs that performed perfectly in class however their owners would report back that once they got to their home environment they were completely different and in fact unmanageable. Uh, so our philosophy is we want to train the dog in their home, uh, which is the only way we do it. The dogs respond very well. They, we actually see a huge improvement the very first time that we work with dogs. So uh, we give people the tools and the knowledge that they need to carry on and maintain that. And then every time we come back, then they can improve that much more. Sandy's really good at solving difficult problems. And um, when someone comes to us with a dog that they just can't seem to figure out, we send them Sandy's way. I don't personally know of anybody that wasn't thrilled with the results. People wouldn't call me if they didn't love their dogs. And in loving their dogs, they come to understand that perhaps in addressing them and following our program, that they'll have happier, healthier dogs. And once they accept this premise, then generally they go on board and we have a successful outcome.